These are busy days in Saarbrücken, and quite an extraordinary reception, emphasized with bouquets and Nazi salutes, was accorded the German-American party on its arrival at the station. Altogether, there were 400 of them. They've come to the Tsar to record their votes during the plebiscite. It was a case of continuous arrivals. One contingent of Italian troops wearing steel helmets made their first acquaintance with Saarbrücken. They were watched by a big crowd as they marched on their way to the quarters at Zutzbach. Major General Brind, officer commanding the international force, was at the station to meet the main body of the British troops. After they had detrained, the troops passed through the principal street of Saarbrücken, gay with flags, most of them bearing the swastika. Incidentally, a political armistice was declared and the flags were taken down. Jeffrey Knox, chairman of the governing commission of the Tsar, has been extremely busy during the past few days. Accompanied by General Brind, he first inspected the Dutch troops. Then the Italian Carbonieri in their picturesque uniforms. Then followed the inspection of the British troops, after which he was introduced to the officers. Thank <laughs> you.